So we all had a super late night last night. I think we've approximately had maybe yeah, four hours sleep yeah, last did. night. So all of us are really shattered and we're I'm a little so bit shattered. silly and we kind of want to have a nap and it's really cold, but oh, we're no. still going to enjoy it here because yay, field trip. <laughs> Hi everyone, today is the 31st of January. We're on a field trip as a part of the Miyazaki winter program going to Aoshima. We're also going to a place called Obi and Udo Jingo Shrine. Haven't been able to film much recently because influenza is rampant in Miyazaki at the moment. Two of us already have got influenza, um, one of us almost got pneumonia, so everyone's been super sick. So everyone has to wear these masks. And we all have to use hand sanitizer all the time. But you know, we're trying our best to stay healthy, keep positive, and enjoy the trip. We'll see you when we get to Aoshima. So we're in a place called Aoshima, apparently it's a cute yeah. little island, heaps of people come here to get married all the time and there should be a shrine somewhere in the middle so we've just been left to our own devices for an hour to try to find something to do and have a look around and hopefully not be late because otherwise the bus will leave without us. <laughs> So we're walking around Aoshima Aima and we're all freezing. Yeah. The wind is arctic. It's insane. Good thing we have these masks. They're, they're not to keep us from <laughs> spreading our diseases. They're to keep our faces warm because it's so damn cold out here. Hey uh. <laughs> man, give a shot. <laughs> She's like, let's take a photo together. This is actually a really cool shrine, it's actually really beautiful. I feel like we're not even in Japan anymore, it's like being in a jungle or something. It's The surrounding around here is actually crazy, it's like, what? <laughs> We've made it to the next destination. I believe this place is called Udo Jingu. Um, it's a really famous shrine here in Miyazaki. There's a place where there's a little statue of a rabbit and you can go and stroke it and it will it's supposed to cure all of your health problems and make your wishes come true. So we all need to go and stroke that rabbit so that we can <laughs> So we all need to stroke the rabbit so that we can get our health problems cured and not get influenza. <laughs> And then there's also another place that's really famous here. It's called like the Breast Rock or something, and it's supposed to be really good for uh, if you're wanting to have kids. And it's supposed to have all these amazing fertility properties. And it looks like a boob and it drips, and it's kind of gross. But yeah, that's the thing that we're gonna go see too. Let's go check it out. Can you hear anything? Yeah. The bus is so loud. Yeah. Oh, nah. Poor cool. These little things here were like dum dum. Yeah.
found a rabbit. Lewis Sug. Here he is. Let's go touch it. Oh, that's not the touchy one. <laughs> Never mind. Here is the area where you throw the rocks. The boys have to use their left hand and the girls get to use their right hand and you have to try and get it in that circle rope all the way out there. Left hand is hard though. That yeah man. Oh, oh bounce out. Come in, Chaji, you're up. What is it for? Can't do it mate. Oh, this doesn't feel good man. Left handy. I don't like this feeling. Off you go. <laughs> oh, this is weird. <laughs> oh, that oh. was close. Does it, where does it have to go into? Inside the rope and hopefully in the water. Oh! oh. You got it! I had a go, but I didn't get any in. Okay, now we're on a mission to find the boob rock boob and rock. the bunny that you're supposed to pet. It's not a real bunny, it's just a statue bunny. Teddy bunny. <laughs> yeah. Healthy. So healthy. <laughs> so healthy, and now our wishes will come true. <laughs> Since we couldn't get the stones in the circle. <laughs> Just touch a bunny and you're fine. Yeah. It's real spooky in here, though. This is legit inside a cave, and it's like drippy and wet and kind of spooky. They got some karaage. Or her! <laughs> oh, I'm too zoomed in. There we go. Never zoomed in. <laughs> <laughs> We're wandering around until 3 o'clock around the outside of this castle, kind of like a village, um, castle village town. And they give you this map. And on the map, there's these little vouchers. And then you go to the restaurants and give them the voucher, and then you get something for free. This here is called a kinka and it's like a tiny, tiny, tiny little mandarin orange and apparently you just one shot it all in your mouth all at once, skin and all. <laughs> mm. uh. Wow! Uh. Uh. I think that was a mean trick. <laughs> the skin is very sour. It's got seeds in it. Mm, yeah, it's got seeds in it. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm. We are going to a castle. We're going to a castle to see the Wizard of Oz. I don't know what the castle's called or what it's about, but hopefully it looks cool. So we can wander around there until three o'clock, then go to the bus, and go home. So Nikki googled this place and apparently it's actually just castle ruins, not a real castle. So all we're going to get is that and those walls that we showed you before and the rest of the place doesn't exist anymore. So that's cool. <laughs> But it turns out you have to pay about 13 New Zealand dollars just to sit in that room. <laughs> so that's a no from us. We'll go somewhere else. This is a good place to do parkour. Bye bye, Castle Ruins. <laughs> <laughs>